Okay, so you're gonna come with me, okay? It'll be very fast, baby. Don't worry. Don't One, worry. two, three. It started with Charlotte having fever one night and then the neighbor told us that they also had fever and blocky nose and mostly with the nose and then i started i started having problem with my nose too i started coughing and my throat was a little bit itchy so far i didn't care so much then charlotte got better gab got really weak for a day then it went away uh grace fell weak for two days and it went away but then my nose stayed plugged the whole time and it was like started at first i was like oh it might just be like uh the pool you know it might be uh, because we're swimming a lot these days so it just happened that everybody who has like a problem with their nose were the one i went into the pool so might have something to do with that well now we're four days later and I've started having problem, like a little bit of my chest pain, coughing a lot. Nose is fine now, but I'm coughing a lot. So we've decided we're gonna go get tested for the coronavirus, just in case, make sure that it's not, because if it is, then I'll have to quarantine myself downstairs. We're also thinking that we're probably gonna bring the whole family to get tested. I don't know how it's gonna play out, we'll see, because here we got like mobile unit that goes from town to town. <coughs> It was one yesterday we wanted to go there unfortunately it got canceled for some reason i think because it was raining so we're gonna try our luck today get the stick up your nose and um see if we got a covid or not hopefully we don't i don't know because like now i'm feeling a little better today i'm even doubting like should i go or not i'm gonna go just to make sure oh because also like next weekend we're going to the chalet to the camp so if i'm sick we'll have to cancel the whole summer camp if i'm not sick then we can go right so but we have made sure that we're not gonna make grandma and grandpa sick and, and anybody else on our way there anyway the, the groceries and everything so we've been swimming in these in the pool here and we use these masks with the nose included and we're sharing them to each other right so all the kids that comes here wear the mask with the nose thingy then i'm wearing it then i go at the bottom of the pool then i'm thinking that most likely this is where we actually uh got it it's somebody who came here with the mask and uh anyhow guys no fever no muscle pain no much problem breathing more than i feel that i'm congested like my nose is it went from my nose to my kind of disophagus other than that everything is normal uh that's what it is so that's the big news hopefully that's not what it is all right i think we're gonna get ready to go May I? yes you have to get tested what? You're gonna put a stick in your nose. Oh no, I don't want that to happen. You ready? Yeah. Really? Yeah, but I don't want the stick to go in my nose. But why do they have to test it? I mean, what's the point? What are they gonna do if I have it? Well, you're gonna have to stay home for 14 days without going out. And okay, but either way, I'm gonna stay home for 14 days. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so what's the point? We have to go to the camp with Grandpa and Grandma. No, no, no. What but was like, that? No, but like, either way, I won't go. Cause yes, if you I will. Have, if I don't have it, I'm still staying. Um. No, no, you're coming. You're coming. You're coming to the camp. We. All right, let's go. Get ready. I'm not going. Yes, you are. I don't want to go. Yes. Look, I don't want to go. Yeah, go get ready. I don't want to. Go get dressed. We have to go. I don't want to. You have no choice. To do that. I don't want to. Right? Go get dressed. We're leaving. Okay. I don't want them to put a thing in my nose. Let's go. But I don't have any symptoms. No. You don't want to go. So no one wants to go. Well, who wants Oops. to get a Q-tip stuck up their nose, you know? I don't know what it's like. Maybe it's not that bad, but you told me that they stick a Q-tip like... It's um, very, very long. It goes all the way like, here. I don't have any symptoms at all. I feel totally fine. But you know what, though? You go here. I have a headache. He goes all the way here. Then it peel it all. They pull, they pull it all Dude, out. Sean is listening. Look. <laughs> it's like, what? What? <laughs> all right, guys. So no one wants to go, but we have to go. We have no choice. It's very annoying. We don't want to have something. I heard that your eyes kind of cry when they do that, but it's, I also heard that it's not painful. I heard that it's not painful. It's bothering. It's not painful. It's annoying. Look, it's better. So I wish it could just take saliva though, seriously, or my throat or it's just really, really small. All right, guys, let's, let's, get, let's get out of here. Man, we're all waiting for you. Huh? Wait more? Oh, all right. Nice. Hey, what's that? Where are you crying? What happened? Show me. I'm scabby with a skateboard. I'm gonna be soft and then I'm put on the bag and then I'm gonna be... You're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Be careful with the skateboard, bro. What 
what show is she put a foot on it and I almost fell on my face. Oh, she went like this? Yes. She went like this? And I fell Ow! Like this. You just hurt me too. Yes, because that's what happens. Damn, you're what? dangerous with a skateboard, no, bro. No, because she, I was skateboarding and then she stopped it and I did like this. You just did it again. Yes, because that's what she did. That's what she did? Yeah, she pulled on it and I couldn't move. So, okay, you're wearing socks right now. I don't think it's appropriate for skateboarding. Can you go get your shoes so we can leave? My shoes are in the car. Okay, go get them. Oh, you can't. It's all wet. Alright, let me go. Stay there. You're gonna fall up the stair with the skateboard, brother. This guy leaves his shoes in the car every single day. I don't know how it happened. Uh, oh, by the way, we bought him these brand new shoes. I don't know if you guys remember, we bought him these brand new shoes, Vans. Well, guess what? They're still brand new because he refused to wear them. He wants to wear his old gray. Nah, they're still good, but I think the Vans are so much nicer. <laughs> He's like, can't be smiling. He refused to wear the van, so I don't know. All right, so I think we're all ready. I'm gonna get this guy these shoes, and then we're gonna hit the road and direction a place no one wants to go. Me. One, two, three. Let's go. You look just the same as before. What did you do all this time? Me, I don't get it. Positive is bad, and negative is good. Yeah. Isn't that the opposite? Yeah, that's yeah. a doctor kind of way of talking, I think. Oh shit, there's like a long line up. Ah, oh, look how long the line is, guys! Yeah, the line goes all the way like to the end of the park. They're probably gonna run out of sticks. The what? Sticks. I'll so like, your nose? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go. It's really dark, but I'm going to Hacker. Alright right, guys, so we're going to be in line here for probably an hour, I suppose. I hope it's not going to rain because there's a lot of clouds. Did we bring an umbrella? Yeah, we brought two. We did? We have how many? Two umbrellas. I have my own well, at least we have a very, very beautiful view here. So we're, the kids are going to be able to play here, have some fun while we're waiting in line. Smart idea to ride a bike by a line of like, people that have COVID. The guy's riding his bicycle on a bike lane here. <laughs> But like all these people are waiting to be tested because they think they might have COVID. <laughs> That's not a smart idea. <laughs> all right, the line is not moving very much, guys. We've been here for 15 minutes, hasn't moved yet. That might be a very, very long day. Going on. I was yeah, gonna like I, give her she's using me for armrest. She's using me for armrest. I'm I'm resting my arm on her. She Par like apparently that. she doesn't like that. <laughs> just kidding. Something's happening over there. Everybody's moving away. I'm afraid they might be telling them that it's over, it's closer today, and we have to go home. I think it might be. Okay, maybe they ran out of sticks. I told you it was gonna happen. They ran out of sticks. That's the only explanation that I have. No more sticks. <laughs> Everybody's leaving. I don't know what's going on. So Grace went to buy McDonald's because the kids were really hungry and now the line has been cut in half and then people are leaving with coupon. Not too sure why, we're gonna figure out in a moment, guys. Hello. Hello. On est cinq. Vous êtes cinq. Ça va être à quatre heures. On revient ici à quatre? All right, guys, so we got a coupon. We got five coupons for four o'clock. So we're going to come back here at four o'clock. Meanwhile, we're going to have lunch. I'm going to go with the kid at home, enjoy our time, have a little bit rest. Uh, at least we don't have to wait in line for two, three hours. That's a perfect thing. Uh, just reminding you that this is a mobile unit, so it's never here all the time. It's just uh, based on the schedule. And if we didn't have it today, then I don't know when we would get tested. So we'll come back here at four. I uh, really like this system, so we don't have to wait here for another three hours. All right, guys, see you a little bit later.
All right, guys, so it's now 3.45, so it's time to go because we have an appointment for 4 o'clock. So we're going to go get tested. The Packers are already in the car. We're ready to go. Let's go. There's still a line up, so we're still going to have to wait in line. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be faster than this morning when we waited over there because it would have been two to three hours. So we'll do a little bit of lineup and I will see you in there. You're right. They ran out of stick, so they have to bring more. Stick. So you're not going to get away with it. A sink. We need to go to the bathroom. We're going to have to come back tomorrow. You were right. They ran out of sticks. Yeah, merci. Can I have your phone back in the car? Oopsie guys, well second time here. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow at 9.30 because they ran out of sticks. We were, we were first, we, it was our turn. But then that nurse or doctor, I don't know who, came in and told us that fortunately they don't have enough testing thingy. Mimi was right, they ran out of sticks. 9.30 tomorrow morning, we'll be back here and they do two simple, one in the mouth, one in the nose. It'll take three days to get the result. So we're gonna get the result on Saturday because right now it's Thursday, uh, Wednesday. So Saturday we're gonna get the result until then. I guess we're just gonna stay home. See you guys tomorrow morning here. 9.30 Day 2 Alright, so since last night, we uh, nothing has changed so much Except that this morning I woke up with a lot of secretion But last night I felt very very good after the test Everything went well, I felt almost normal Nothing really was special This morning I woke up with stuffy nose It was hitchy here, it was kind of like uh, It took me like 15 minutes coughing before it started coming out Now I'm okay, my nose is kind of plugged again But I have no other feeling, that's all we have Third time's the charms Let's go back to the U mobile unit Getting testing teeny in the throat and the nose and everything So we can go to the cabin this weekend. You ready? Let's start the music. All right, guys, so we're back at the testing site this morning for a third time. I hope that things are going to be okay because we're supposed to go to the cabin with the grandparents. That would kind of be a bummer if we couldn't go to the cabin because they're expecting that for a long time. The kids are expecting it. We went last year. We made a video, guys. Check it out here. I'll put it here. It is super, super fun uh, cabin there. There's a lot of things to do for the kids. They reserve for a week, so hopefully we're going to be okay. Then nothing is very, it's not a COVID, so we can go. Uh, that'll be super cool. Otherwise, then we're just going to uh, quarantine ourselves for a while. All right, guys, so let's go check it out, and I'll, we'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, so we're subscribed. Now it's our turn to go. We have to go in a little small line there, and then we're going to get the test done. Ooh, you scared? No. No? Yeah. Yeah? It's uh -huh. gonna be all right. Gabriel, enlève ton masque d'un côté. Là, tu ouvres la bouche, tu fais « Ah! » Chatouille le fond de la bouche. Ici, là. OK. Il est beau. Parfait. Là, tu mets ton masque sur la bouche. Dégage ton nez. Un centimètre en bas de ton nez. Tu recules, tu recules pas la tête. Correct? Beau. Oh, faut pas reculer la tête. J'y vais. On le ici, là. Et voilà. Cinq secondes. Yeah, you did it, bro. Good job. Put your mask back on your nose, baby. You did it, buddy. You did it. Oh, it feels weird. It feels weird? Good job, man. So it's not that bad, right? It's going to make me cry. I'm very nervous, guys, now. Oh, wow. That's deep. Oh, I see the gag reflex. I got it. It's the best. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Right away. Good. It feels weird. <laughs> Wait. Oh, <laughs> no. Nose. Okay. Guys, it feels like nothing. I'm telling you, it's not a big deal at all. <laughs> There's it's nothing. To hurt. It's like when you get, you're about to sneeze. It went right in. Maybe my nasal, my nasal cannula is bigger than others. I don't know. It went really, really well. I think if you have the best nurse, it's even easier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so have we're done. Day. Let's go see Charlotte and, and Grace. Thanks, guys. No, it's it doesn't it's hurt. Comfortable. It's just uncomfortable. It's like when you want to sneeze, it's but you're not going to sneeze, faster. okay? Go really, go okay, really baby? Fast, okay? Go fast, just fast, just fast, let fast, her fast. do it. It'll can, be really can quick. You count, can you count one, two, three? Okay, so you're going to count with me, okay? It'll be very fast, baby. Don't worry. Don't worry. One, two, three. Hey, Charlie. Perfect. Okay. Oh, gosh. Charlie. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Oh, 
Ah, Monsieur Frédéric, c'est bon pour le. Et voilà! Oh. <laughs> you okay? Wait. <laughs> you did like Charlotte. <laughs> Charlie, Merci. I'm very proud of you, baby girl. Merci, bye. How's your first she reaction? She put the stick in her. And I was like, okay. And then, did it feel bad? Wrong? Good? No. Felt okay. Feels it perfect, right? Yeah, now. yeah, I didn't feel anything. I have a nose. Look at a boo boo. <laughs> All right, guys, so it was super easy, super, like, it was no big deal here. Me, except for Charlotte, I think we all agree that it's totally worth going for it. It's not a big, not as much as I thought. I really thought it was going to be worse than it is. It really like a sneeze. It's not nothing more than that. Yeah. What's happening? I sneezed and then... Oh, no. Pull it out. Yeah. So, this, I found it very uncomfortable. Like, like she was counting five seconds, and towards the end, I was like, all right, that's, like, my limit. Like, I was... <laughs> you, you're, I'm the only one that wasn't filmed, okay? But like um, when she put it in, she didn't really count. She just opened up. I said, Ooh, and then she, I went like, whoa. <laughs> and then like she said, okay, now your nose. And she went this. I was like, okay, that's that's good. Okay, we're done. Did, we're mine done. went like <laughs> super easy, and I barely felt like sneezing. That's all it was. Mine was like nasal candles are bigger than others. I don't know what. It just tickled a tiny bit, and that was it. Not even like watery. Nothing. 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 One in, one out. Well, I'm glad we did it. So let's hope we get the results by Sunday. They said three days, right? We're Thursday, so. <laughs> Shout out. Would you Would you recommend people to go if they want to get tested? Yeah. No, yeah, she's, she's lying. Yes. She's lying. Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> she's traumatized. First Saturday morning, I just received a message from the medical services, I suppose. Charlotte and Grace, negative. They don't have it. Me and Emily, we don't have it. Negative as well. Uh, Gab Gabriel, negative. The Gabriel, negative. So Charlotte, negative. Grace, we're all negative. So nobody has it. We're all good to go. So we can go to the shack. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna leave for the chalet. It's gonna be epic week, guys. We're gonna have fun, grandpa and grandma. So now we know we're safe. Everything's good. So thanks for being there guys, thanks for following us, stay safe, stay positive, never give up, go get tested if you feel like you might have it, and we'll see you guys in our next episode. Can I help you? Did you fart in the place? No. It smells like you farted. Mm. You're the only one that goes in your office. I think you brought the fart with you. No, you didn't. You're embarrassing me. So excited to go there. If I farted, I'd be honest and I'd tell you. Is that the face of a liar? I don't think so. Yes. <laughs>